Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzak. Well, we've had a few showers on and off, but the clouds and the showers have kept our temperatures still on the mild side as a warm front first pushing across the area. So temperatures to start off the day, not too bad. Looking at 50 along the coast, Newport and Florence, a little bit warmer in North Bend. 50 in both Eugene and Roseburg, slightly cooler though in Corvallis. You saw that cold air actually pushing a little bit early last night. That's because there's much colder air further to the north. And if you're headed up into the Portland area today, they do have a freezing rain advisory because there is some very cold air. The surface temperatures nearby about freezing or 32 degrees. We have plenty of rain across the area. We are not worried about freezing rain because our temperatures are so warm to start off the day. Plenty of rain. You can see it is picking up over the last couple of frames and that will continue through the rest of the morning and into the early parts of the afternoon before things lighten up just a bit. That's because we have a system pushing across the area mainly just due to our west there. You can see this will push in once we get into uh, the rest of today. You can see the center of the circulation still out over the coast or excuse me out over the ocean ocean and then that will eventually move through early this afternoon. Then after that we'll see our pattern become a little bit lighter, not as much heavy rain. Here's a look at what we have going on. This system is the one moving through today. We do have another system further off to the west. That's going to move through once we get into Monday. So looking at more rain across the area. Not only for Monday, there is even more rain after that once we get throughout the week. So stormcast over the next 24 hours put things into motion. Some rain out there as we head into the next couple of hours. You can see heavier rain pushing on through. Mainly rain even for the Cascades as that freezing level up to about 5,500 feet. That's going to even get higher as we head into tonight, popping up to about 6,000 feet. So along the coast day, expect rain showers. Temperatures not too bad. Once again, mid 50s for the highs. It will be a bit windy though. Winds out of the southwest, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could see some gusts even up to 35 miles per hour. I'm Co Basin. You're looking at rain showers as well today. The heaviest rain right around lunchtime. Winds will also be a little bit breezy with gusts around 15 miles per hour. Cascades mainly rain showers into the foothills. A few snow showers early, but we're already seeing that change over to rain into the Cascades and also into Central Oregon, where you're mainly looking at rain showers today as well. Winds out of the northeast 5 to 10. Willamette Valley also going to look at some rain showers. Heaviest rain late this morning, early this afternoon and then eventually lightening on up once we get into the later parts of today. Seven day forecast. We are looking at rain and breezy conditions along the coast today and then rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and even lingering a bit into Friday. Though you can see temperatures on the mild side, upper 50s for the highs, lows into the upper 40s. For those in the Umco Basin, also going to keep things very wet as well for the next couple of days. Uh, all the extra way through Thursday. High temperatures also in the mild side, upper 50s, low 60s, overnight lows in the mid to upper 40s. For the Cascades, mainly rain showers Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with that freezing level at 6,000 feet or higher. Then as we move into Thursday, the freezing level does fall with that uh, storm heading into Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So we're mainly looking at the changeover back to some snow showers. Willamette Valley, mainly just rain. We're looking at rain Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even a little bit into Friday. The mild temperatures overall mid to upper 50s for the highs overnight lows mid to upper 40s. So Sid, it is a very wet week or it's going to yes. be a very wet week. God. So we just got to prepare for that. Yes. Just like, you know, as long as you tell me now, I can yeah. actually prepare. <laughs> <just> prepare yeah, because <laughs> there's nothing you can do to stop it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Marissa. No